Try to race our way to the front, and this is the first track he's been at this year. Well, he's raced at before. He won here as a teenager when he was 16 years old. Munoz and Daly at Canada Corner. And Munoz was pretty forceful about that. Well, Will Daly Power and Scott Dixon, this is further down the order, fighting for a berth in the top 10. In the background, look at that orange and white De Vilbis car. That's what Pablo Montoya, who gets pushed yeah, wide by, he by like Max that. Chilton. He will not like that. He got kind of pushed out and squeezed and off Yellow, the runoff. Or he contact. got pitted. Look at Hinchcliffe from the back of the field. Now is caught Hunter Ray. Goes by him on the push pass. Or Hunter Ray he? comes back. Old Andretti and both teammates off right the here. Track. And Hinch oh. not happy with that right job. Montoya just chops the nose off of Newgarden. And, he comes and back. look at Newgarden come flying back here. He's going to get him on the uphill. Montoya runs wide in five. Now uphill under the bridge. My corner, pal, back off, move out of the way, I'm coming through. And he used up with that very move, he used up his final push to pass. And he's not as quick as these guys at race pace. We've got a move happening here with Will Power. Scott Dixon looking to the outside in the blue car. They're going to go side by side here. If Dixon can hang oh. on, no, he got pushed out onto the rumbles. It's impossible to lay the power down. So bumpy out there. And he took the advantage away from from Alexander Rossi. This is where Scott Dixon tried to make a move on Will Power, Paul, down in turn five. Well, he got the Pruitt fade. Uh, Will Power protected the inside. Scott went for the outside. He got pushed out wide. And as soon as you get out on those rumble strips, you are dead meat. There's no grip out there. So that strategy is going to work. Push to pass for both cars. He's got it. He'll have hot tires and outbreak Will Power easily. I don't know. Power looks like he might go for Whoa. it, Paul. He's going to get pushed off here if there's not contact first. He, he pushes him right off the edge of the road. You see the tires getting laid down rubber on the exit. Rossi's got to make this happen too late. By the carousel or it's over. He's got one more chance down the hill here where he might be able to outbreak him. Right here, he's got to run. Power's Will Power defend. protects. He's going to push him wide again. Watch Power drive Rossi right off onto the rumble strip. So hard to get the power down there. Rossi struggles. Power with the advantage. Beautiful job from Will Power. 17, 18, 19. So there's action all over the racetrack. Gutierrez's wing is flapping. He's got damage on the front. He locks up a little bit, pushes Connor Daly wide. And look at Marco Andretti. Marco Andretti slices by. Further investigation here for the 12 team, but obviously an engine issue going on. Wow. Look at Wiggins trying to challenge oh. Rossi. Rossi having none of that, and that's what I was talking about. Elbows out today. Elbows out like St. Pete. He Wiggins just falls awesome. back, but got to still mention Scott Dixon as we see Pagano making a bold move up the inside of Piggott in turn 12. Runs him a little wide off the edge of the corner. That's a good pass. Nice and clean. Piggott was blocking the inside, trying to protect. But we see the Sato on the outside, which is the wrong side at five, but he's going to have a go at it anyway. Oh. Around the outside of Alexander Rossi. Does it come off? Yes, it does. Rossi fights back up the hill. He's going to stuff it in here. Side by side. Oh, Sato contact. and Rossi. Remember oh, what Rossi did, did to Wickens. Wickens pushed off. What a pass. But that might come under the scrutiny. He's already been looked at for the same move. Yeah, but they looked at that move and deemed it to be racing appropriate earlier. So I'm Look at this. Pagano on Ed Jones. Jones giving the squeeze Ooh, there, yeah. trying to keep the door tight. Pagano kicking it open, saying, uh-uh. I'm and, coming through. And this is under review. He just heard he totally Dorian. fell off the back. He looks like he's got a little bit more downforce, but Sato just got blocked by, oh, those guys touch. Hinch well, Cliff and Sato get into it at the bottom of the hill. And I think Sato should have let Hinch go because Sato tried to dive in on Newgarden in turn one. It didn't work. He lost the back behind him. Simon Pagano making another move. Look at that on the inside, trying to get another spot. He is up five already, making six for the Indy 500 winners. He goes around Ed Jones. They did start on scuffed tires. It's going to be a game of time. Got a little run here. He's going to take a look. Pagano sees it, makes him go to the outside, and he deep on the brakes and turns in on him, and they make big contact. Oh, Second no. time that Hurt has had wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact. Rosenquist goes flying through, says, thanks, fellas. I'll take those two spots. Herder almost hits Dixon. Dixon stays to the inside. That was pretty hairy stuff. Four Carlin teammates. Pato Award on the outside. We ride with Max Chilton. Bye-bye, Pato. Chilton's missed, missed the tech control of this race. He went 14. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> Barucci and Ryan Hunter right. Good driving, both drivers. He was left, right, left, right. Oh. The shake and bake, baby. Ah, buddy, good job. Tied together just behind Polo. Simon Pagano almost touches wheels with Pato Award. They all they touch again. Lock up from the Aaron McLaren SP driver, and Pagano is through. Up to turn six. Could easily pull a muscle or pop things out of, out of the joint. Look at Pato there on Pagano. Oh. Sending it in turn oh, five, and Pagano just contact. absolutely tries to close the door way too late, he and he's like going to pay for that. Yeah, he won't like. He won't want to find Simon after the race. Simon will for sure come and have a word with him. Well, I don't think Pato did anything wrong there. Just shovels yeah. his ass. But you also notice the white wall is gone on the right front or left oh, front tire, yeah. so he might have had contact right here. Max Chilton, oh, oh, big contact, oh, broke, broke the, the steering wing. arm. Yeah, it's broken the steering arm. So now you're a passenger. Chilton on the inside. For Colin, that's pretty heavy contact wheel to wheel. That'll rip the steering wheel hinge right out Sato of your hand. Sato's gonna have He's to give up a spot. So what's oh, going on? Yeah. Oh yeah, Sato totally door slams Connor Daly over there in Canada corner. Oh so boy! When we were guessing early who went wide, Connor went wide. Marcus Erickson. The red and white Husky chocolate car. Got swerves over and takes away the brake zone in turn six. Meanwhile, Pato Award in Graham, Graham Ray Hall. They want in on the action. It's been elbows out all day here at Road America. Wheel. It just broke the toe link. And yeah. he told the team he didn't know what was broken on the 10 car, but something broke. And as you guys know, radio transmissions this far off as we watch happen to VK, they, it's hard to hear across the way here, but something definitely broken on that 10 car. And Simon Pagano, Christian Lundgaard's in there as well. I think Scott McLaughlin may have turned Graham Rahal out of the way in turn six. He's fallen. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, that's Lundgaard is caught McLaughlin up. McLaughlin here it? on Rahal's. Now they go almost wheel to wheel. Rahal gave him plenty of room. He went wide there. Dixon lines up for a shot. A rookie battle, but look at this. Hold on. Hold well, on. Lucas trying to block Sato. Sato's going to force his way through and Will Power sitting patiently trying to protect his car and his points situation. And now, that's Renus VK on the inside of power. How about David Malukas not taking anything from oh, his no. teammate? And look at this, Amarji Barji through turn six. You called it from the beginning, Townsend. VK just saying, no, Will Power, I know this move. It never works out on the outside of turn six.